Well, Tuesday the 21st of February and uh, <clears throat> I've just come back from the River Nid down at Kirk Hamilton where the Environment Agency have, was stocking the river with 500 two-year-old barbel and 500 two-year-old chub. It was absolutely amazing to see. Uh, wonderful. Hopefully one of these barbel will grow into a more than 11 pound 10, which is the current NID record. And it stands since 2007, so it, it's time it was broken. Um, it's a lovely day, it was 12 degrees uh, and very bright sunshine this morning, but this afternoon they're forecasting rain, although it doesn't look too bad at the moment, looking west from here. And then tomorrow, of course, uh, we get a storm Doris. Uh, with really strong winds and uh, a fair amount of rain and on high ground, possibly some snow. So there's going to be a big change, a big turnaround. And then by Friday, uh, it would seem it will have gone, but the, uh, the weather will have taken a turn for the worst in terms of temperature, so it's going to be cold. So with Storm Doris, if it's warm rain that's going in and the river comes up a little bit, who knows? Next weekend it might be... a uh, Good barbel fishing, but uh, they're very fickle at this time of year. <laughs> anyway, I've brought uh, a couple of barbel rods and I've got a little float rod here. I've got some lobworms. I was in the garden yesterday, so I've got some lobworms. I'm just going to stick a lobworm on here and see if I can get a perch. I've had four blanks on this. Well, I say blanks. I've had a gudgeon and a little chub. I uh, need four sessions on this peg. <laughs> so it's... Uh, you never know. The old barbel has been coming out, and there was a chap on the Trent. And uh, recently, last week anyway, he had, I think he had 12 fish, and not one of them was less than 11 pounds. I mean, that's absolutely amazing. What a session that must have been. Tremendous. Well, that's probably fishing, probably, for the rest of his life. <laughs> He'll never get another day like that. Anyway, the rods are ready, I'll get them put in and uh, we'll just sit back. Uh, we're having to get up to go down to Kirk Hamilton this morning. Now, I'm a little bit early today, I think it's about one o'clock. Isn't that a lovely fish? What a beautiful thing. Those lovely red fins they've got.
nice little perch. What a stunning fish. Beautiful. Lovely to hear that thrush singing. It's the first one of the season. It perks you up no end. They obviously think spring is coming, so. A cheery song. Lovely. Oh, there's another beautiful perch. That road is there's colours on there. Stunning, absolutely stunning fish. A big spiky dorsal fin. And that huge mouth. <laughs> It's been a lovely day, uh, beautiful sunshine this morning, uh, it's a bit drizzly now but not too bad, but the wind is beginning to wind itself up for tomorrow, <laughs> maybe a different day tomorrow I think. Okay, fishing with these lobworms, uh, uh, this little float's amazing, I've had uh, four nice perch and missed, missed about six, but nothing on the barbel rods at all. Um, it's half past five now, so I'll, uh, I'll bid you goodbye from the uh, banks of the River Swale. We'll see you uh, on the bank of some river some other time. Um, I'll fish on for a little while, while it's still light. But for now, take care. Don't get blown away tomorrow. <laughs> see you again. Bye-bye.